as if the 27th of October couldn't be packed full of exciting bouts. Here's one more. Don't let their short statures fool you. It's a former champion versus an Olympian, and they're going to go for each other in a brutal bantamweight bout. With Hernan Marquez showing no signs of stopping, after years and years of fighting. Here's everything you need to know about this flipped David and Goliath script. It's David going against David. Hernan Marquez, ever the glory seeker. Hernan Marquez Beltran comes from the Mexican state of Sonora. Born in 1988 and growing up in the 90s, it was the perfect time for a Mexican child with few other opportunities to get into boxing. Now, Marquez had always been on the short end of the height spectrum for boys in Mexico even in a country where the average height used to be rather short. But Julio Cesar Chavez proved to the world that the welterweight division could be won by a guy who's only 5 feet 7 inches tall. Combined with the allure of boxing in the country, it's likely what convinced Hernan Marquez that boxing was the way to go. BoxRec lists his earliest fights as having taken place in 2004, when he was just 16. It was an uphill battle from the very beginning for him, as he lost his first fight versus Duran Cafaro in the USA. However, he quickly followed it up with the victory two days later. Having won it despite his physical advantages and not much else in sight to make a living out of, he decided to go pro. His opponents quickly found out that his southpaw stance and surprisingly hard punching power got the better of them in the flyweight division. Starting from the victory in his first professional bout against Noah Costa, he racked up an impressive undefeated streak all the way up until 2010. That rounded up to 27 consecutive straight victories. They were all either unanimous decisions, technical knockouts, or direct knockouts. It's because of such a dominant performance that he was called Tyson, the ultimate mark of honor for someone who can really deliver the pain. The start of the 2010s would truly test the resolve of this very same spirit thoroughly. On July 25, 2009, he was at the top of the world when he won the WBC USNBC title with a unanimous decision win against Juan Escuer. Marquez then also won his following two fights before the unthinkable happened. He lost to the Filipino Richie Mapanum by a 10-round unanimous decision. A southpaw himself, Mapanum proved too much for Marquez to handle as his attacks were stopped in their tracks by the scare.